Kiro 104. Outputs Overview. Hello and welcome to another Kiro tutorial video. In this tutorial we will give an overview on outputs and analyze the common properties. Output blocks encapsulate specific action commands that the Engino devices provide either embedded in their hardware or connected externally through their ports. In Kero they are distinguished by some unique characteristics. 1. The purple color and connector points. They are placed directly in the flow diagram in the sequential order to be executed. 2. An output icon. Each output has its own unique symbol to indicate its purpose and corresponds to the Engino device output capabilities. 3. Output Properties Tabs Each tab encapsulates a specific property for the output. Editing or changing the values of these tabs change the output's functionality accordingly. There are five common properties that almost all outputs share. These are 1. The port a drop-down list that enables the selection of the port in which the output component we want to use is connected. 2. State. Sets the runtime state of the specific component. That would be on for duration. Run for some specific duration. On forever. Run indefinitely. Off. For stop executing. 3. Delay. A number that indicates the amount of time to wait before executing the command. 4. Duration. A number that indicates the duration time of the command to last while executing. 5. Sequence. The sequence order the specific command to be executed, either after previous, run after the previous command has finished with previous. Run in parallel with previous commands simultaneously. These properties are the most important to define the sequential order a program should be executed. Thus using a combination of these properties, different outputs can work together to provide a wide variety of outcomes. Hope you found this tutorial useful. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Bye bye for now.